Welcome back to another introduction to Critter. Today I'm going to be focusing on filters and layers. So despite Critter's main purpose and main function being an art program, you can do a lot of photo manipulation in Critter and use a combination of different filters, especially the external GMIC filters, which can be used to make all kinds of artistic pieces using various imageries, imagery and techniques. So we are going to go for the very basics, so I'm just going to cover some of Critter's basic filters. And I've just sh uh, uploaded this image of a tulip. Now one feature of Critter that I find extremely handy is the file layer. I'll just show you what that looks like. And what it enables you to do is to get an image that you've already already created and simply lay it on top. So now I've got my image. What I tend to do is after I've imported the image I go to convert to paint layer. I'll just show you what that looks like. And I tend to resize it, so I press Ctrl T to transform the image down. So now you've got two layers on top of each other. And you can play around with the opacity, with the blending options, and so forth. And uh, it's great for when you want to make multiple images and you want to do double exposures. You can create these interesting visuals. And I will be going into more detail in regards to what you can do with layers but that gives you an understanding of how you can manipulate images on top of one another using various blending modes but now I'm going to go straight into filters so if you go into filter and you go into adjust you have all your basics so you've got uh, brightness and contrast curve burn, color balance, desaturate, dodge, AV, HSV adjustment, invert levels, color adjustment curves so let's go into this. So you can you can change the brightness, midtones, and highlights by adjusting curve, and you can also alter the shadows and highlights in the image. Change the saturation. When you're happy with the way that looks, you can create, you can press OK or override your image, or you can actually create a filter mask. So I'm just going to add a filter mask to that image and I can manipulate the way that looks on top. So if I select my tool and I'm going to go for radial and I'll select how much of this I want to erase. We can see the original top bleeding through, the original photo bleeding through. I can also change levels so if I want to, to alter the photo even more I can do so by changing the levels, the input levels. I can also alter the output levels as well. Add more less shadow, I wanted to add more highlights. And notice that you can add multiple masks, so might be parts of it that I don't want to change. So I'll simply go over parts that I want the mask to reveal and parts that I don't want the mask to reveal so I can change the way the mask looks using my brushes or using my gradient tool and I can manipulate this photo over and over again. So that's the original, that's the adjustment layer and the levels and I just want to cover something else as well, colour balance. So there might be things in this that I might want to alter to make it warmer. So I might want to add a bit more yellow in the shadows, magenta. So I might actually exaggerate it a bit, create another mask and delete bits I don't want to exaggerate. Add some bits in. So I might want to continue to play around with a bit. This a little so I could continuously add filter masks to this image to get these different kind of colours and this is extremely useful especially if you want to create a vivid image using your photos. There are other tools as well in regards to artistic filters. You can also have a Gosson blur so if you want to create depth of field you could add that in and you can create layer mask. 
and there again you can change that alter the way that looks to add some additional blurring so there again you've created another combination of different you created an additional depth to your photo using a series of filters another one of my favorites especially when creating an artistic pay piece is making a black and white effect on top of Imogen you can change that and the way that looks by altering the settings so you can change the values colorize nice yellow effect so when you're happy with that you can add another layer mask on top and if you don't like the saturation you can also change that as well so we can go for desaturation choose the method that you like the most so you've got a combination of different methods go to edit create filter mask and there's your desaturated photo and you can manipul manipulate the saturation by changing the way it looks and getting rid of overly saturated elements and if you don't like those filters you can always delete them and also you can apply a transparency mask to your duplicated object if you wish and this also helps with photo manipulation so I boost the opacity go into the mask and start deleting bits that you don't want adding some bits that you do want you can duplicate that again remove the mask and you can also if you wish alter the brightness and contrast using the curve tool so you can add more darkness or light and that can be very useful when making features we can add another transparency mask to that and we can manipulate this again get rid of the bits we don't want the bits we do want and you get a photo that looks a bit like this so you can continuously manipulate your image add masks and filters while simultaneously retaining your original image that has not been edited so that more or less covers some of the basics and filters in my next introduction to Critter Tutorial I am going to go more into what you can actually do in terms of image making so I'll be covering some of the GMIC filters and some of the artistic filters and we'll be looking at manipulating photos even further for image making proce processes uh, and turning some images into art brushes so that you can create your own scenery or your own terrain which you can then utilize for your own purposes so we're just going to cover those in the next tutorial i hope you found this tutorial informative more material coming soon